my name is Ashish and you are watching me on my YouTube channel. Our today's topic is Dart Image. Dart is a tool which provides troubleshooting capability for Windows operating system. Dart tool can be found as a part of desktop optimization tool and you will require a software assurance services license demo. We are using Dart 10 as this is the latest, ver latest version of the software. So let's start the demo and see how we can install and generate a recovery image out of Dart. Let's switch back to our screen. This is my desktop and now we will connect to our server. This is our server. For this demo, we are using 2016 Essential Edition and this server acting as a domain controller as well. So before moving to Dart image, we have to install Windows Debugging Tool. So for that, we have to run a WDK setup through which we can install Windows Debugging Tool. So run the setup and follow the on-screen instructions. Click on next. Next again. You have to accept the license terms and condition. And look at this. This is the debugging tool for Windows for which we are installing WDK. Our installation is completed now. Now we have to use we have to use a desktop optimization ISO to install Dart tool. So this is our desktop optimization tool. So we will mount this ISO and browse the ISO for, the, for its content. You can see the third folder is Dart tool. We will open the Dart and we, we have to install Dart 10. We are using 64 bit setup. Now follow the on-screen instructions to install the Dart tool. Click on finish to complete the installation process. Now we will go to start menu and we will open the Dart recovery image option. So this is the welcome wizard. We have to click on next. Before that, we will delete the existing Dart folder which is already available on my desktop. Now click on next. Now here we have to give a path for Windows operating system. So let's restart again. Click on next.
now we have to provide path for windows operating system so we will mount the windows 10 iso and provide the following path here for this demo we are using 1803 update So we will copy the path and we will paste here. We will select all the options. We have to allow the remote connection. Now here is the catch. Since we installed the debugging tool. So the, for the crash analyzer we required a debugging tool to be installed on the local computer. So that's why in the beginning we have installed the debugging tool. So from this location you can find your installed debugging tool and we will create a Vim file as well so we can we can add this file into our WDS environment. Click on next and it will start creating an image. Our setup is completed. Now we have to click on next and finish the wizard. So basically we have generated two images. One is Vim image for our WDS environment and one is ISO image. So we can use this Dart image uh, using a bootable pen drive or uh, a DVD as well. click on next and if you want you can burn the disk from here directly so you can see we have given path of uh, our desktop to export the image you can see inside the x86 there are two files one is vim and one is iso file so let's switch back to our windows deployment server and we will add this boot.vim file there so we can our client can boot through the dart image so we will go to boot image section and we will browse the path of the dart image and we will add this boot.vim file into our wds environment you can keep the name by default here i am changing this name to the to dart boot.vim It will take some time to add into the server. Once the image is added, we can we can use this image to boot our network machine. image is successfully added in the WS environment now you can see uh, now we will go to our Hyper-V server and we have one virtual machine created over here which is currently off so we will set the virtual machine to boot using the LAN card first so from the firmware setting we will move the network adapter in the boot setting 
now turn on the virtual machine and here you can see our virtual machine will go to the LEN card first as a boot preference now press enter here you can see we have dart 10 boot image available so we have to select and press enter if you don't have WDS environment in your network you can create a bootable pen drive as well or you can burn this ISO file into a CD or DVD ROM using which you can you can perform this troubleshooting steps So click on yes, it will ask you to initiate the network adapter. Now select the language. Now click on troubleshoot the third option and you will see a Microsoft diagnostic and recovery tool set. Select your operating system and now you will get a bunch of troubleshooting tools. First one is if you, if you want to edit your registry you can edit through this tool if you want to change local admin password like this you drop select the username from the drop down list and put give the new password whichever you want to change and just click on finish your local admin password will be reset the crash crash analyzer if you are facing blue screen problem with on your machine you can boot your laptop or desktop using the dart tool and uh, you can analyze the mini dump file through the through the debugging tool so you will have the exact reason why your machine is giving bod that is blue screen of death so you can analyze that dump file as well so here is the debug tool on my server where we installed at the very first step And now here you can give path of mini dump file and just click on next and it will analyze the dump file and give you exact reason why your machine is creating problem. You can search file as well. If your machine is not booting into the operating system, you can boot your machine and uh, you can copy the required file. You can wipe out your disk means you can you can wipe out uh, uh, using the two parameters one is single single fo format and second one is the four way uh, format we can consider it as a zero format as well So there, there are other bunch of features like Explorer, you can where you can simply copy paste your data. So this tool is very useful uh, in a scenario where you have uh, a dysfunctional Windows machine, which which is not booting. You are not able to go into the uh, uh, Windows mode. So you can boot and uh, boot through the Dart and uh, you can simply perform this uh, uh, troubleshooting steps. So here is the quick demo for the Dart tool.
our machine is restarted let's log in into the machine So we have complete the demo. This is how we can create a recovery image using Dart tool. I hope you like this video. For more such video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.